Okay, so we're going to dissect the pigeon today. And the first thing you'll do is just look at your pigeon and the obvious, of course, the feathers, because that's what makes him a bird. If you don't have feathers, you're not a bird. If you got feathers, you are a bird. So we're going to take this pigeon and we'll look at the head first. And of course, you see the two eyes, you'll see the, the beak, um, the nares or the nostrils there. You can take a probe, and these guys are dead, so it takes a second to get him to loosen up there. And then we'll open up that beak, and as we open the beak, then we'll be able to see, we'll be able to see uh, a, a tongue there. There's a little slit right here called the coanal slit. Uh, it's kind of a cool thing unique to these birds. Um, I'll talk to you about more in class. Uh, I come down, I'm looking at the, the neck and the breast, and this is the part I want you to be careful with. If you'll, if you'll feel right down here, you can feel that big breast muscle, and it comes down to a point right there. Uh, and that's, I want you to feel that, and then I also want you to look right down here at the bottom, or the posterior aspect should say instead of the bottom and that will be the cloaca and that cloaca is that joint opening of the digestive respiratory and urinary systems and you can see it right there you'll hear it called the vent this is the vent the cloaca so you've got uh, the big breast you'll feel a little gap there of some softer tissue and then there's the cloaca so to get into this guy what I'm going to do take some feathers out of the way I'm going to feel the end of that breastbone right there, and I'm going to make a little slit like that. And with that, I can just kind of peel back, and that will peel up that breast tissue, or the breast, uh, the skin over the breast, excuse me, the skin over the breast. Okay, so now I've got that, and you can see this big breast muscle right here. And when you're feeling it, you can feel it comes to a V here, and then this is soft. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to make a little slit right there. And once I've made that slit, see I can just put my finger in there, put my thumb in there and start pulling back. And I'm going to take my other thumb and I'm going to kind of pull down. See, I'm, I'm pulling down on the internal organ and pulling up on the breast. And if it's a little tough, you can take your scissors and make a slit right there and come over on the other side and, and make another slit. Pull that up and that will ex expose the organs in this in this big body cavity here. Now I'm going to take it, I'm going to turn it over. I'm just turning it over, get some of that fluid out of the way. And now that he's open, now that he's open, you can you can see some structures inside here. Now, the first thing, obviously, the big thing here, the heart. And we remember these, these birds have a four-chamber heart, so we got a, a big, nice big heart here. This large structure here is the liver. Anytime you open that abdominal cavity, pretty much the biggest thing you're going to see is the liver. So all this will be liver right here. One of the harder things for you to see will be the lungs. And I'm going to take my finger and kind of go underneath the right, I go right by that rib cage and kind of, wiggle this up. This is a big old lung. Um, the air sacs with these things being dead and preserved, not very visible. Uh, they're much more visible on a, on a live specimen. Uh, I'm getting over here on this side and again I'm going to take my finger and kind of wiggle that up and there's there's my lung on that side. So I've got my heart. I've got two lungs there. If I look down here and I've got the liver and some because they're old you know, dead, preserved, uh, that liver may be a little bit friable, and, and I get right in this area, and this, I feel a firm, something firm right there, Now that's, uh, this is going to be the gizzard, you remember the gizzard going to function and grinding, if I move just anterior to that gizzard, this area right here, this will be the proventriculus, this is the gizzard, coming out of that gizzard I can trace this down and I can see all of this uh, all of this intestinal tissue here all right. 
So I've got all that. Uh, I would come down, and as, as I'm, uh, I can I can trace that intestine all the way down to the cloaca. If I look right here, I'm kind of move again, dumping some fluid out of the way. But as I'm, I move that over, this bird happens to be a male. I'm not sure that's showing up, but I see two little eh, kind of white cream. These are about a half inch structures right there. Those are the testes of this bird. Um, again, just trying to get some fluid out of the way. And then as I get that fluid out of the way, the, I can see the kidneys here also up against the, the back of that bird. So I'm, I'm taking my probe and kind of wiggling that underneath there and trying to get those. There we go. There's the kidney showing up right there. Um, the other thing before you leave this cavity, take your blade and cut into that gizzard. Remember the gizzards were grinding and as you cut into it you can actually hear the scraping, grinding sound, and when you open it up, you'll see you'll see the see the rocks. See the rocks in the gizzard, and uh, literally he ingests those rocks, and it helps him grind his food. So you got the heart, the lungs, the liver, the stomach, the gizzard um, into down into this intestine. You can see the kidneys. You can see the reproductive organs. If it's a female, we'll just see one ovary rather than two testes. We just see one ovary right there. Now the other thing before you leave this bird, you want to get up here in this neck area, and you know the skin's pretty friable, so I can just kind of pull that skin. You may, if you want to, you can use a uh, scissors, but Sometimes if I just pull it and kind of gently pull right in here, and I, what I'll come up with, I'm going to get the a, a nice big sack right here. And when you just go cutting with your scissors, sometimes you'll just cut right through it. This guy happens to be empty, but there's a sack-like structure. This is the sack-like structure, and I can take my scissors, and I'm going to open that sack. And as I open that sack, this guy, like I say, is going to be, he's, he's going to be empty. So I don't see, there we go. I don't see much of, I don't see anything in him. They, they did not feed this boy. And then seeing if there's anything down in there. But this is the crop. Yeah, no, it's empty. I was trying to see if there was anything. But this is the crop, that large sack used for storage. Yeah. While I'm in this neck area, I can kind of clean this tissue away, and I will see two tubes, two different tubes. This one right here, if you if you can uh, look at it and see it, you'll actually see little lines because those are little cartilage rings, and those cartilage rings, um, that's what's supporting the trachea. We'll talk about the trachea as we get into body systems, but this is the trachea. That's the windpipe. That's how he's breathing. And then uh, the other thing that we'll, the other tube that we can see here will be the esophagus. Yeah, I'm just trying to clean some of this out of the way so that we can see another tube running down through there. And that's the esophagus. The other thing that's kind of cool to do before you leave these birds is you'll take your scissors and take the pointy end of the scissors and go into that bird's mouth and you cut down one side, kind of stick them in pretty good there. These guys are these guys are old and tough. Uh, but you can take that and stick it in and you'll actually end up running it right down into that esophagus. This Actually works a lot better on live birds. There it is. Looks, does better on the live birds than it does on, on the dead ones. And we can run right here into the opening to the trachea. You may be able to see a slit right there. That's the opening into the trachea. And slit the trachea open. Just using using those, those scissors there. And open that up and, and see inside the trachea. And that's pretty much it.